Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to morph text in PowerPoint 2016. Let me show you a couple of quick examples first. In this example, I have a text box with the letters A to Z, which morphs into the word morph, like so. In the second example, I have a bunch of text across the screen, which morphs like so and creates a cool effect. And it's a great way to keep your audience engaged. So now let me show you how it works. So here I've got a text box with the letters or alphabets A to Z. And on the second slide, I've got another text box with the word morph. Now the second slide has been created using the first slide. And this is very important. What I mean is that you need to start off with the first slide and then duplicate it by right clicking on it. And then choosing duplicate slide. And then what you need to do is change the letters to whatever you want it to be. In this case, morph. And then I'll just highlight the text and then increase the font size. And then I'll reposition the box. And next I'm going to apply the morph transition in the transitions tab. And under the Effect Options section right here, if you drop this down, you will notice that there are three options, Objects, Words, and Characters, and the default is set to Objects. So we need to change this default from Objects to Characters. You can also control or adjust the duration of the animation using these arrows right here. And now if I play the two slides, this is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to click on the first slide and then click the slideshow button. And when I advance the slide, you'll see that it morphs. It looks pretty cool. Okay, now let me show you the second example. The principle is the same, except that in this example, I'm using the same text and just repositioning it. So I essentially start off with this first slide, and as you can see, this is not a text box. And on the second slide, I've used that same text box right here, and just changed the size and repositioned it. And then this graph right here is really not part of the morph, but I just use it to show you as an example of how you can spice things up in your presentation. So I'm going to start off with this first slide. And then I'm going to right click on it and then choose a duplicate slide. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decrease the size of the box and then decrease the font size as well. And then just reposition it. And then I'll just copy this graph and then paste it here. And like I showed you in the first example, you click the second slide and then go to the Transitions tab and then choose Morph. And this time here, you can leave this under Effect Options as Objects. You can also adjust the duration in this timing section. Now one thing that you got to be aware of is in this first slide, I had applied an animation. So if I go to the Animations tab and pull the Animation pane, you will notice that there is a Wipe animation. And on the second slide, that Wipe animation still remains there. So you need to remove that. So you would just go to the Animation pane and then just delete that particular animation, like so. The other animations here are pertaining to this graphic and you can leave them as is. So now if I go back to the first slide and I play the slideshow, you'll see that the text comes in. 
And then this is the morph section. There is so much more you can do with the morph transition, like you're seeing right here. And you can check this tutorial to learn more about it. I've also created another tutorial to show you how to create kinetic text like this using the morph transition. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. You will find many more PowerPoint tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.